We're looking at Patrick Caulfield's 1973 print called Spider Plant. In this screen print, composed of a few simple lines, the artist presents the partially obscured fronds of a spider plant. Spider plants get their name from their long, arching, graceful leaves that resemble legs. These leaves sometimes dip towards the ground, like in this print. This evergreen plant is also known by other names, such as its Latin name, Chlorophytum comosum, as well as other nicknames, including airplane plant, St. Bernard's lily, spider ivy, ribbon plant, and hens and chickens. Spider plants are native to tropical and southern Africa, but are common houseplants found all over the world, since they are adaptable and easy for beginner gardeners to grow and propagate, which in this case means growing new plants from cuttings of the parent plant. They are also loved for their graceful appearance. In this image, the delicate curl at the end of the leaves on the left side of the plant seem to almost hook around the vertical line near the center of the print. Is the viewer inside looking out a window with a reflection casting a shadow on a wall or outside looking into an interior space from the street? What would this plant look like from another angle or in a different setting or at a different time of day? A number of screen prints by Caulfield in the museum's collection similarly obscure distinctions between indoor and outdoor, natural and built environments, such as this one called Garden with Pines from 1975. Spider plants have been shown to improve indoor air quality by removing toxins from the air, including formaldehyde and ammonia. Indoor plants can improve mental health too, providing companionship, brightness, and something to nurture and care for that reminds us that we can thrive, even if we're stuck inside. It can be easy to bring some nature into your house by adding a few easy to maintain house plants. What kind of plants would you like to grow, both outside the home and inside? Would you like beautiful plants or flowers or something you could eat? In the next activity, we will propagate our own edible houseplants with materials you can find around the house.